this story was sent to me by Odd Rocker One, and um, he had asked me, "Don't I remember talking about this story?" And I said, "I don't remember talking about this, let alone even remember this being a story." But now knowing the outcome of it, I wish I had did a story about it. So I'm going to give you a little um, playback on what this is about. So this man's name is Steven Spencer. He's from Pennsylvania. He's currently 31 years of age. And two years ago, I think in July, he got into an altercation with this racist white man who was, you know, saying, you know, the usual spill that they always say to us. And then it turned physical in which Steven Spencer ended up shooting that man which led to the man in dying he ended up um uh, pretty much bleeding to death and then steven spencer he did the smart thing by immediately turning himself in i'm glad that he did that because if he decided to say oh i'm gonna like try to outrun the law then it wouldn't have turned out for him in which i'm about to explain to you so basically he's pretty much been locked up for these last couple of years and he had a trial and guess what? After all the, deliber- the deliberations, he was found not guilty because they, by reason of self-defense. Now, I know that's like shocking because this doesn't always work out for ADOS. It rarely ever happens because it's almost like it's an unwritten law that we cannot defend ourselves in this establishment it seems like every time we try to defend ourselves um something happens and it's some kind of stipulation put into place and we'll still suffer the consequences for it this almost reminds me of that story that i did uh uh, maybe a couple years ago where you had those two white guys in that waffle house making messing with that black man and then after they thought they got away that black guy pulled out that gun and shot that guy and literally on his way to the hospital, he crashed, which ended up leading him into dying. And then, of course, they found him not guilty. And they well, actually, I don't even think they charged him with anything because there was too many witnesses around that showed and even the cameras, the surveillance cameras inside the Waffle House showed that this guy started everything. So that was like a, like a, a grand opening and a grand closing for him. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It's a very short piece. It says, 31-year-old Stephen Spencer of Pennsylvania was recently found not guilty in the shooting death of a white man while defending himself during a racially charged dispute in a bar. Back in July 2017, Spencer got into an argument with Christopher Williams in a bar. The dispute started when Williams, a 32-year-old white man, when refused to shake Spencer's hand. From there, the situation escalated, leading to Spencer firing one shot at Williams. Williams, who was unarmed, would die from, from his injuries. After the shooting, Spencer immediately turned himself in. He was charged with criminal homicide, simple assault, and terroristic threats. After being held in jail for over a year, a jury acquitted Spencer of all charges. Spencer testified that he acted in self-defense. He claimed he had been enduring racial taunts inside the bar the night before he left. He said that a group of several white men followed him outside the bar and yelled at him, We're going to get you inward. Fearing for his life, he pulled out his gun and fired one shot. Meanwhile, the prosecution argued that what Spencer did could not have anything to do with the confrontation inside the bar and said he should have ran away instead of pulling out his firearm. See, that's that crap I'm talking about. They don't, like I said, they do not like us defending ourselves, but I'm so glad that he happened to be on that day. This was literally one guy that was up against many. By him pulling out that gun and firing off one shot, which he probably didn't even mean for the guy to get hit. It was probably, it could have been a warning shot, or maybe he didn't plan the bullet to hit a a spot on the person's body where it would have led to him dying. But it was enough for them to leave him alone and to disperse. It ended up having to have a casualty happen, but you know, it happens. But the prosecution, which is the people that was against him, are trying to turn this into a thing where, he could have did something else. See, they always want us to remain in this docile state. He could have ran away. Are you serious? They were following him out the bar. If he didn't have that gun, that this man probably would have got jumped and he probably could have died that night. And I wonder what the prosecution would have said then. But in a rare case, the court decided to side with Spencer, a black man, and acquitted him. Now, the key word there is rare because even they know that it is very rare and unusual that a black man 
or anyone for that matter in a situation like this can be found not guilty on every single charge. He didn't get found guilty on one on even one of the charges that he was hit with. I was fighting for my life for 15 months and I finally made it. Justice was served, Spencer said. Spencer was described during the trial as a family man and a business owner. It was also stated that he has a concealed carry permit and has no criminal record. This guy was pretty much squeaky clean up until that night. But because now all the charges have been dropped against him, well, he was found not guilty in all charges. Now his record is pretty much expunged. His lawyer, John Pike, said the case was more than just someone shooting an unarmed person. And the jury saw it. They saw it for what it was ugly racism that man is also very fortunately fortunate and lucky that he had a jury that like his lawyer said could see it for what it was because they could have easily sent him up the river and he would still be in jail right now not every person especially those who look like us get that chance he's extremely fortunate and i'm glad you know that everything worked out for him now he can go and you know get his life back you know, he lost a year and some change. He he fared better well than some of us who are behind bars now for stuff for even lower level crimes that we didn't do who have to sit behind bars for decades. So kudos to this man. Kudos to the jury and the judge and his lawyer in this case. As far as that prosecution, they can go to hell right along with the scum that he took out two years ago. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.